Sound Dune text will come with four fonts. The first, which we're calling the default, is of my own voice, um, and it is the font that tr attempts to um, closely mimic the visuality of the keyboard in sound. So, for example, here is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. <coughs> That was the lowercase of the default. Here um, is our second font created uh, by Samantha Boudreau with her own voice. She created a song that was a pangram which is called UQY and um, here is the quick brown fox of that. <laughs> As you can hear, um, the variation uh, really starts to inflate. The third font created was called Cats and Frogs, which I created myself, and it is just that, Cats and Frogs voices. <laughs> was the quick brown fox with cats and frogs. And the last one I have created thus far is called Watermark. And I won't say much about it. Here is the quick brown fox of that. Now what I've just shown you is the keyboard functions, the, I guess the closest uh, um, thing we could compare it to would be a drum machine. Um, there's also the option of playing texts in time, so, and, and the option of mashing up uh, sound fonts. So let's put default in the left hand box here that has every character on the keyboard in the Arial font that uh, is a v includes straight lines. And here on the right, we'll put UQY, Samantha Boudreaux's font, uh, reading every character that is curvy. Here we go. And uh, now I'd like to do a rendition of the same scores, the lines, the lines and curves with the cats and frogs font. Here we go. Input text, input text, check the boxes, check the boxes, and we go.
Okay, that was Cats and Frogs, and here I guess we'll close off with the watermark. And as you can see, um, the possibilities for text and for sound here are really um, plenty. Alright, thank you very much. Sound dune text. <laughs>